Welcome to the Taste Test channel and this week we'll be taking an impartial look at popular strawberry jams from around the world to discover what the differences are and how some of the best selling varieties around the globe differ in taste. As always, just for fun, we'll be awarding our Taste Test channel Best in Class award to the winner. If you're new to the channel, just hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out on any of our regular taste tests. So whether you call it jam, jelly, preserve or conserve, it's enjoyed worldwide and the king of jam surely has to be strawberry. Jam dates back to the Greeks who used honey to preserve quinces and it's been enjoyed in its current form for centuries as a method of preserving fruit for the winter months. A fairly simple concoction of fruit and sugar, you might wonder just how much a jam can vary, but temperatures and cooking times, quality and quantity of fruit, and the type and proportions of sugar used all have a big impact on the taste, and many people swear by their favourite brand, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the differences are in some of these iconic worldwide favourites. So our lineup of strawberry jams this week is as follows. From Germany, the number one selling jam, Schwartau. From Down Under, Coddy's Jam of New Zealand and Australia. From the USA, the famous household brand, Smuckers. From England, a James Bond favourite, Tiptree Little Scarlet Conserve from Wilkin and Sons. From Russia and Eastern Europe, the Kaika Jam. And finally, from Italy, Zueg. Price-wise, these all fall into a fairly similar affordable price group, although the cost to get hold of them may of course differ depending on where you're based. The amount in each jar varies, but you can see the price that I paid for each of them is shown below. As you can see, although Smuckers appears to be the most expensive, it's in a massive pot. So if you calculate the price per 100 grams, it's actually the cheapest, with Schwartau being the most expensive, followed by Tiptree. But all of these jars fall into a fairly reasonable price band. Nutritional wise, being jam, sugar content is going to be high on all of these, but there is quite a bit of variation. So here are the four key groups we always stick to on the Taste Test channel, which are energy, fat, sugar and salt. The chart below lists the brands from top to bottom in energy content per 100 grams. As you can see, Bakaika from Russia has slightly more energy than the others, and Zuig from Italy contains the least by some margin. Fat content is fairly negligible on all of them. Sugar, however, does vary, with Bakaika, Coddies and Tiptree all containing 65 grams of sugar per 100, and Schwartau and Zueg again containing the least, Zueg having just 42 grams. Finally, salt content is fairly negligible on all of these, but listed here for reference. But how will all this affect the taste? Well, that's why we're here. So we're going to start with Germany's best-selling jam, Schwartau. Schwartau was founded in Germany in 1899 and remains a family-run enterprise. German jam has long been highly prized. In World War II, some of the most cherished spoils of war to be found in German camps were their jerry cans and the pots of jam issued to German soldiers as part of their ration, known to be significantly superior to the stuff the Allies were used to. Fruit content of this one is 50%, with just four simple ingredients listed, strawberries, sugar, lemon juice concentrate, and fruit pectin. So what we're gonna do is open all the jars first so we can compare them visually side by side, and then we'll move on to the tasting. So we'll open up the jar. And let's spoon some out. Okay, so this has a loose compote-like texture with large pieces of strawberries in it and a very fresh strawberry aroma with light floral tones. It smells very nice indeed. Next from Down Under is Coddy's Strawberry Jam, one of the most popular jams in the Antipodes. Coddy's jam is made in New Zealand for the Australian and New Zealand markets. Originating in Australia in the early 1900s, Coddy's is a big name in cordials and soft drinks, but the jam site is now owned by Heinz Waddies and Heinz Australia, the tinned goods brand. Fruit content on this one is 40% and the ingredients are simple, so no corn syrup or other nasties, but interestingly, it does contain mineral salt, so I'm really curious to see how it compares. So let's take a look inside. And let's spoon some out. So this one is a lot thicker in consistency, much more set, but also a lot more gummy and jellyish. There's slices of strawberries visible, but there's less aroma than the last one. You can smell it's strawberry jam, but there's not a lot of fragrance. It's much more subtle. Next from the USA is Smuckers, an iconic American household brand. By the way, this was the smallest jar I could get hold of, and it's massive. Smuckers was founded in 1897 by a farmer in Ohio who used to sell apple butter from the back of his wagon. It's still family run and has been for five generations, also voted as one of America's best companies to work for. 
Their strawberry jam has been enjoyed for over 100 years and very commonly in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Unlike the others, this one doesn't actually state the proportion of strawberries in it, and it does contain glucose, fructose syrup and corn syrup, both of which are regarded as far worse for you than sugar. Nevertheless, it's an iconic brand and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it compares. So we'll open the jar. And let's spoon some out. So this is also very thick and gummy, not quite as thick as the coddies, but jellyish. It would probably come out in one lump if you shook the pot. There are large pieces of strawberry in there, but they're few and far between. You have to hunt for them. The aroma is of strawberry jam with some high acidic notes in there. Next from the UK, we have a quintessentially English jam, Tip Tree Little Scarlet from Wilkin and Sons Limited. The company's been producing jam since 1885 and this iconic addition is made from the tiny, rare and intensely sweet Little Scarlet strawberry, of whom Wilkin and Sons are believed to be the only commercial growers in the world. Little Scarlet is a James Bond favourite, featuring in the novel From Russia With Love, and they also hold the royal warrant as suppliers to Her Majesty the Queen of England. Today, Tip Tree Jam is sold in over 60 countries. Fruit content on this one is an impressive 60% and again simple ingredients of sugar, strawberries, citric acid and pectin. So let's take a look inside. And let's spoon some out. So this is a thick jam but not gelatinous like the last two. More set but no jelly or gumminess. There's strawberry pieces, lots of seeds and whole tiny strawberries in there and there's a fresh aroma to it. Not quite as fragrant as the German Schwartau but fresh and floral with high sweet notes coming through. Very nice. Next one of Russia's most popular brands we have Bekaika strawberry jam and I can only guess the pronunciation here so apologies if it's incorrect. Bekaika jam is popular throughout Russia and Eastern Europe. This jar was sourced via a Russian food shop as a popular Russian jam, but I notice it says on the jar it's actually made in Moldova, which has been independent from Russia since 1991. Fruit content is 50%, and this one has the simplest ingredients of all, with just three components listed, strawberries, water and sugar, which is surprising because strawberries have a very low pectin content, so normally need lemon juice or pectin in order to set, so I'm really interested to see how it compares. So we'll open up the jar. And let's spoon some out. So this is literally crammed full of fruit. Every spoon of it comes out with multiple whole strawberries. The jam around it is medium thick, similar to the tip tree, and the aroma has deep rich notes. I'll be very interested to taste it. Finally, from Italy, we have Zueg jam, made from the orchards of Oswald Zueg. A family-run company started in 1890, Zueg have a strong focus on optimising terrain, soil and climate to grow the perfect fruit in their orchards in the north and south of Italy. Today their fruit-based preserves, snacks and juices are popular across Europe and sold worldwide. Fruit content on this one is 50% and again simple ingredients only, being strawberries, sugar, fruit pectin and lemon juice. So let's take a look inside. And let's spoon some out. So this is a fairly loose compote-like consistency, similar to the first one, Schwartau. There's large pieces of strawberries in it, and the aroma has a fresh punch of strawberry. Not quite as floral as the German one, but similar and very pleasant. So looking at them all now side by side, you can see there really is a surprising amount of variation. The Russian Bekaika has the most whole fruit, but also stands out as the darkest, more like a prune jam colour, followed by the US Smuckers, which has a toffee red-brown shade and a gummy texture. Smuckers also appears quite cloudy, while the others are clearer and glassier, with the German Schwartau being the clearest of all, and raspberry red in colour, with a compote-like quality. Similar in texture is the Italian Zueg, which has slightly duller raspberry tones. Tip Tree is bright red and more set, like a traditional jam, and Coddy's is the lightest in colour, having orangey red tones and a thick jellyish consistency. So with all that in mind, I'm really curious to discover how they all compare in taste. Now, I don't know about you, but I rather enjoy jam on freshly baked scones. So let's rustle some up. And let's move on to the tasting. So we'll start with Schwartau from Germany. So the loose texture is subtly pasty, but it literally dissolves in the mouth when you taste it. It's medium sweet, and there's a very fresh, very strawberryish flavour with a slight tang of lemon and a light fruity aftertaste rather than sticky or sweet. 
In summary, this is a really delicious jam. Very fresh taste, a good strawberry punch, and a melt in the mouth texture. Really nice. Next we'll try Coddies from New Zealand and Australia. Okay, so there's some hard thick lumps of gum in it which aren't fruit, although there are fruit slices in there. I can't taste the added salt by the way. It's not as fresh tasting as the last one, it's sweeter with caramelised, almost toffee apple notes. The strawberry flavour is less punchy and it's given way to the sweetness which also dominates the aftertaste. In summary, it's not unpleasant but it's very sweet and it doesn't melt away like the German jam, it's more sticky and gummy. Next we'll try Smuckers from the USA. So a very thick jelly-like texture and the flavour's not fresh fruit tasting at all. To me it tastes like sweet strawberry flavoured starch. It's not as sweet as the Coddy's but the aftertaste is almost artificial. It tastes starchy like there's filler in there. In summary it's not awful and I know this is a well-loved brand in the US but when compared alongside the others in my opinion it doesn't taste like good quality jam. Next we'll try Tip Tree Little Scarlet from Wilkin and Sons of England. So this is thicker set with lots of seeds but a nice consistency, not at all gelatinous. It has a good strawberry punch with a fresh light and floral flavour and a zinginess. It's very sweet with a long sticky aftertaste but not caramelised. In summary, this is a lovely tasting jam, light, fresh, floral and full of fruit. Possibly edging on the sweet side for me but nevertheless delicious. Next is Bakaika, a Russian favourite from Eastern Europe. So as I mentioned earlier, this one is literally jam-packed with whole strawberries in every bite, which is most impressive. The flavour's quite different. There's a rich, earthy, almost smoky taste to it, as opposed to a light floral flavour, possibly from being cooked for longer to achieve the thickness, and it's medium sweet. It does seem to have some hard rooty bits in it, which you naturally want to spit out, like the tough stalky bit at the inner base of a strawberry, but not bad for you, obviously. In summary, it's rich, earthy, natural and sticky. Top marks for the volume of fruit, but shame about the stalky bits. Finally, we have Zuag from Italy. Okay, so a lovely loose compote-like texture which melts in the mouth. It's certainly fruity and there's plenty of strawberries in there, but the flavours are more subtle, so not as much strawberry punch as the Schwartau or Tip Tree, and the aftertaste disappears very quickly. It's the least sweet though, so it might really appeal to people who find jams a bit sweet and sticky. In summary, this is very nice, nothing to dislike at all, just not quite as dramatic. It's probably the one I could eat most of on toast though, just because it's quite subtle. So that covers how they all differ in taste, and now that we've tasted them all, as always, just for fun, we award our Taste Test Channel winners and Best in Class award. I have to say, I've been really surprised at just how much these strawberry jams vary, but as always, choosing winners really does come down to personal taste. Smuckers, for example, is a massive seller in the US, and if it's the taste you're used to, I'm sure nothing else will do, but to me, it just tastes too artificial and starchy. Coddy's is a well-loved jam down under, and if you like a very sweet caramelised flavour, then it would be ideal, but for me, the texture was just too gummy. And the Russian favourite Bakaika from Moldova gets top marks for its fruit content and has an honest appeal about it with its earthy rich flavour and stalky bits. But our top three winners this week are as follows. Winning third place, Zueg from Italy. A really nice fresh compote style jam with subtle but natural flavours and a lovely texture. Also perfect for those who prefer a jam with less sugar in it. In second place, Tip Tree Little Scarlet from Wilkin and Sons of England. Sweet, fresh and floral with a traditional set consistency, it's a lovely example of a high quality strawberry jam. And personally, if they did a version with less sugar, I think this would be my favourite. But in first place this week in the popular strawberry jams from around the world, the Taste Test Channel Best in Class award goes to Schwartau from Germany. This has the freshest taste of all and is bursting with fragrant strawberry punch. Light and floral with a beautiful melt in the mouth texture and not too sweet or sticky, it's a superb jam. And I'll definitely be getting this in from now on for my store cupboard. So well done to Schwartau from Germany. And as always, taste is subjective and this is purely my point of view, but I hope this has provided some useful insights. So I've certainly enjoyed making this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. And if you have, it really helps us if you hit the thumbs up button and please do consider sharing it with others. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell to ensure you don't miss out on any of our regular taste tests. And just a note, as always, to thank everyone who supports the channel. You really do make all the difference. We're not sponsored by the brands that we feature, and each video takes six to eight days to make. So a massive, massive extra thank you to the particularly generous viewers who support us via Patreon. You keep us going, and we are eternally grateful. As always, please do comment and let us know what food or drink items you'd like to see on some of our forthcoming taste test episodes. Meanwhile, very many thanks for watching and I'm off to enjoy a cream tea.